What's that? Is it, I, I say, I do believe there's no fishing down there. Is it? Uh -huh. There is no fish or there is no fishing? There ain't no fishing. There ain't no fishing. Yeah. I'm about to say there's a few <laughs> there's a few in there yo what's poppin people welcome back to another episode of kicking their bass tv we had a awesome weekend at the big daddy unlimited and nine line epic shoot and we also had a meetup you know on saturday you guys saw i was promoting that and i really appreciate everybody who came out to the meetup and uh, it was really cool too because i'm pretty sure everybody that came we got to spend like a lot of time with and i uh, really got to have a good conversation but we're gonna roll a few clips from the meetup in this weekend i hope you guys enjoy it let's get it I wanted to do something different today. So I'm like, we're gonna go in Walmart and buy some micro lures and go fish for bass, bluegill, crappie, around in some ponds, really whatever bites. So we're gonna hop in here and see what micro baits they got. Got my spinning combo. I'm gonna bring a bait caster out there as well, just to try to catch some fish. But I wanna get some little like crappie jig heads and uh, some little baits because I have a pond that has some really big crappie in it. I think that'd be a lot of fun, but we'll catch some bass and you know, bluegill, everything, really whatever bites. But Let's go ahead and get in here and see what they got. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, share this video with a friend, and uh, comment down below, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. That helps out the channel more than you guys know. Let's go ahead and get in the fishing section and see what they got. Dude, look at that. Bitsy Minnow by Strike King. Look how small that, that is the smallest little crankbait I've ever seen. Is there a comparison? Do they have a normal? Um, I don't even, uh, oh, there's another, oh my God, there's three. Look at this color. Walmart is so unorganized. <laughs> they got stuff everywhere. Look at this. So we got three different colors. There's only three of them. But look at that color. You see that? Like yellow on the back? Mm -hmm. That looks fire, dude. So we're going to go with this. Bitsy Minnow by Strike King. By the way, if you guys want to get a discount on any of the Strike King baits, um, I have the link and discount code description box down below. I'd appreciate it if you guys use that. It helps me out a lot. If you guys are going to buy some Strike King stuff. I think we're gonna go with this too. We're gonna get like some pre-made baby swim baits. Those are very small chartreuse. And I think that could be pretty good. It's gonna be cool today, guys, because we're gonna catch a little bit of everything. I think we'll catch some bluegill, some crappie, and some bass. We're gonna, we're gonna catch them all. So we got this, we got the pre-made ones, and I wanna get some jig heads and then get like maybe some little swim baits. I think that's what we're gonna go with, guys. We're gonna go with a little crankbait, one hard bait, pre-made swim baits, and then pre-made little jig heads. I think that's gonna be the go today. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. All right, y'all. Time on, the first bait we're gonna try out is just that little jig head with a curly tail, pink little head on them. That's gonna be the first bait we're gonna try out. And then uh, if we catch a few on this, we'll probably switch up to one of those other ones. And go from there. There we go. Tied her on with a little uni knot. Dude, that's gonna get munched. I think we're gonna catch a bass on that and a crappie. I don't know if a bluegill would get that in his mouth, but we'll see. I think it's, I'm kind of excited for this. I haven't done this in a while, guys. It's probably been like a year and a half, so I'm excited to fish with some micro stuff today. All right, y'all. We just made it to our first pond. Gonna be trying out this little micro bait. We have it on the kick in their bass spinning combo. If you guys want to check out any of the rods, we have right hand bait casters, left hand bait casters, and also spinning combos on the website, kickintheirbass.com. You can check it out down below. You can also check out any of the merch as well. Um, I'd really appreciate that, but let's go ahead and get it started and see what we can catch. Not bad. Yeah, the wind's blowing in right, right to us. It's a tiny jig head. Really not bad. I mean, that's a tiny jig head, dude. Let's 
Come on, fishies. Get us started with something. Oh, he just had me right when I said that. He hit me again. It might be a bluegill. Okay, Let's see if we can catch him. Yeah, he slammed me right when I was saying that. If I try reeling it in, really slow maybe. There he is. Oh, they're hitting it. There's a bass. Nice. That was awesome. He's a tiny dude, but that's so cool. Right on this little micro lure. Look at that. Not a big one, man, but that's sweet. Look, look at it in his mouth. <laughs> that's awesome. You see how light this bass is too, man? Once that water starts to get colder, I feel like these bass get really light. Oh no. There he is. First fish today. It's a little tiny guy. We got to start somewhere. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you biting. There he goes. What's cool about that, guys, I, uh, that was my first cast of reeling it in. I was like jigging it off the bottom like a little worm. And then I was like, you know what? Let's try to slowly reel it in. And that's when we got that. Oh, oh, I just had another one. Oh my God. All right. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just get to fishing. But reeling it in might be the, the trick right here, at least for bass. Like right there, dude. Ham, dude, he's, he's going. Oh, oh, it's crazy. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, uh. no, no, no. Take that off. Always put this in your pocket, guys. Don't, don't litter. Got a little fresh one. Money, dude. What do you think? Yep. You think that uh, pink head's actually helping out with the bite? Could. Could like, be. It might give them something to like hone in on. I don't know. They were hammering this that thing. That curly tail's definitely help, helping out with the oh, bite. Oh, yeah. That little tiny, little bit of vibration. Gosh. This <laughs> is such a weird bite. Just gotta slowly reel it. Yep. There he is, baby bass. Baby, baby. Nice. Little micro bass on the micro lua. He ate that thing good. Oh, largey mouth. I'm waiting on one of these crappy to bite it. I'm telling you, these crappy are big out here, guys, like a couple pounds. We'll get them. I really need to go in this other pond, but they're cutting grass, so it's a little loud. But second little fish today, nothing big. Something. Thank you, bub. He's hit me. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that thing. It's so pretty too, dude. Look at the colors on that bluegill. What a freaking slaunch. Oh. I thought you were about to monster Mike said that thing. Dude, look at this brute. What a beautiful bluegill right there, bro. Look at that thing. That's a slab. That's what's so cool about these micro baits, you know, multi-species video today. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you're enjoying it this far in, please hit the like button because I'm having a good time, man. This is sweet to catch some toad bluegill. Now we just got to catch a crappie. <laughs> oh, that's a freaking slaunch. You talk about a slab, bro. Look at that. Big as my hand. Wow. Pretty fish.
Thank you, buddy. That was cool, man. Yeah. That was pretty dope. You thought that was another little bass in you have I did. Well, when I hooked him, I saw him flash in the water, and I was like, that's either a small crappie or a bass, and it ended up being just a brute bluegill. A bass was literally a two-inch bass. Oh! <laughs> this is so funny, man. Oh, oh, did you see it? It's a two-inch bass, Cody. They're literally two inches. I gotta get one of these. It's every cast over there. Like, they're literally two to three inches max. Here we go, you ready? We're about to see the smallest bass ever. Er. <laughs> ever. Hold on, they're like on that bank. Dude, they're... <laughs> this is the craziest thing. By the time it hits the water, they already got it. Here we go, watch. I got him, I got him, I got him. Smallest fish I've ever, I, smallest bass I've ever caught. Mm. <laughs> Bro, look at that. What would you say, three inches? <laughs> look, look at the lure. Look how big the lure looks in his mouth. That is funny, dude. Wow. What a lunk. What a stud. You gonna get that mounted? What a stud. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. These things are born out the womb to be killers, dude. That's crazy. Thank you, bub. There he goes. Dude. Baby bass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it blows your mind because we'll come out here with regular bass lures. I'm just gonna let him release itself. All right. We come out here with regular bass lures and it might take us like hours to get a bite. You put on something that's like this small and they just munch it up. If you guys end up doing this, tag me on Instagram. I wanna see you guys go out there. But if you're having a problem catching fish, downsize, go out there, try something new. All right, y'all, we are retiring this guy. I think we'll end up throwing them some more because we were catching them really good on it, but I'm gonna cut them off for right now. And I'm actually gonna go out with the Strike King Bitsy Minnow and give this guy a shot, see if we can get a little reaction bite. I've never thrown a micro crankbait like this. Maybe once, but not that I remember. There we go. That's a pond killer right there, boy. She's looking good. Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> There's a good bass. Ooh, oh, oh, come on now. That was a two pounder. God, doggy. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> had a small one bite it. That was a two pounder that was trying to eat me, dude. I was, uh, he was going crazy on it, but he just couldn't get it. Until now, that's not him, a smaller one. Still not a bad fish. Now they're turning up on this crankbait. We just have to cover some water with it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right, buddy, calm down. I gotta catch your butt, I gotta catch your friend. <laughs> Look at that micro crankbait in his mouth, man. That's so cool. So much fun, man. Just doing some different stuff today, guys. Having a good time with it. <laughs> well, the crankbait got the biggest fish today, which that's what I assumed. And she an old Strike King bait, you know. Just... The big ones, right, Cody? Cody knows. What did we catch our, our most big fish on this year? Strike King Rage Crawl. Oh, Rage Crawl. Then catches them.
I don't know about their little crappy baits and micro baits, but I guess we're finding out right now. It's actually pretty dope, dude. Like, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not just saying that because it's striking. Like, me and Cody have just been kind of laughing at it because it's just like so, <laughs> it's so different. You just got like this little crankbait going crazy in the water. There you go. <laughs> Who needs pliers? <laughs> Well, there we go that's our best bass today and it was on that little strike king micro crank and there was another one that twirled on me that was about two pounds i'm gonna see if i can catch him but pretty little fish i had a little three incher on before him thank you baby appreciate you biting that was fun <laughs> that bite was really cool Let's see if i can get this other one tony i had a good one going crazy on it there's like a pipe right there and I was going across it, banging banging off of it. <sighs> this is so funny. what in the world that's so freaking cool dude why is this so much fun <laughs> like actually i'm having like a blast right now like it's always hey guys today we're gonna go try to find some big fish not today i mean i don't get me wrong man what if i caught my pb on this thing that I've, would be just dumb bradley's caught a 10 pounder in here and i've hooked a few that were like eight to ten pounds <laughs> This is definitely not even eight, eight to ten ounces, but that's probably an ounce if that. That's so funny. I want to see like a toad bluegill eat this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a good fish. That wasn't like a little Twinkie. Hammered it. He might eat it again. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. look, he's right below me. What is going on? That was the hardest hit. You see the mud yeah. where he stirred it up? Dude, just tank. Oh, dude, he's on it. Yes, that's a good one, dude. Yes. Oh, dude, that's a good fish. Oh, my gosh. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a two pounder. Dude, that was sweet. There might be another one with him. Look how big his head is. Oh, <laughs> it's all right, dude. It's not like it's a five pounder. It's kind of a five pounder for today's video though, you know? He was going wild on that. It took me three casts. Every cast I threw in there, he was just slamming it. That was a good fight though. I hate we didn't get to land him and hold him up, but <laughs> that was cool. God. Dude, they are, Cody, they are, like, I've never seen a, dude, they, like, the way that they hit it, man, is not like a regular bass lure. Like, I don't, they just want to destroy it. Like, he came after it with some speed. Dude, that's what I'm saying. You should feel the bites, dude. It's like, boom. I'm going to get you to cast this thing just to feel how hard they slam it. Yeah. I mean, it's like crazy, dude. Even like the little guys just slam, slam. Oh. Yeah, you got one? <laughs> nice. They are, as soon as it hit the water, they're just attacking it, man. <laughs> this thing must have some flavor to it or something. But that's cool. I really didn't think it was gonna be a good bait until like I started getting on them and I'm like, man. Well, when we saw it in Walmart, we kind of joked about it, remember? <laughs> we were like, look at this little thing. <laughs> but that thing is getting the job done quick. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't lying, man. These things are just, even for them being this small, they're just smoking it hard. <laughs> That's cool. It's kind of fun, isn't that. it? <laughs> Got both treble hooks. I'm telling you, y'all need to go try this, man. I agree. Tag is in it. It's kind of fun. It's something different. Like for the people that are just been having a hard time, you know, catching them right now, dude, go do this, man. Because they're going crazy. There we go. That is a brute. Oh my God. Man.
Oh, okay, just, just eat it. Ah. Oh, oh. Dude, let's get it, baby. That's a good one. Please stay pinned. That's a nice one right there. Biggest one today. He's a little smaller than that one I lost. Let's go. Dude, look at that. That's so much fun, man. <laughs> I can't believe how much fun I'm having with these micro baits. That's a chunk, man. Bass. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Dude, that, maybe this is what we need to do, man, is start throwing micro baits. Because when the fishing's tough, seriously, man, like, gosh, they're, like, going crazy over it. I'd really, like, like to know if we came out with bass baits today what we would have caught. I, don't, I really don't think we would have done as, done as good. What's that? Is it, I, I say, I do believe there's no fishing down there. Is it? Uh -huh. There is no fish or there is no fishing? There ain't no fishing. There ain't no fishing. Yeah. I'm about to say there's a few, <laughs> there's a few in there. Yeah, I'll get out of your way then. That's no problem. I'm glad I'm back. All right. I'll catch you later.